Okay, what I'm going to show you now is just in Adobe Photoshop uh, and how to clean up a scanned image. So I've scanned in this pencil drawing and I want to make sure that I can get rid of all these um, little marks that I've got in there. That's obviously the edge of my sketch of it paper where I've torn it out and then we've got some various bits and pieces up here that aren't relevant that we don't want. So the first thing you're going to do is collect the zoom tool, which is the magnifying glass, and just zoom into the top. The other way that you can do that if you wanted to practice is by holding down the apple key, which is the command key, and the plus key, and that will do the same thing to zoom you in. Okay, so you can see here, I've got these bits and pieces on there that I really don't want. So I'm just going to draw over them, basically, with the brush tool. So I'm going to select the brush tool there, make sure that I've got a nice, big, just plain, round brush. And you set that up here by the drop-down menu there. And you can see all the different brush options I want, but I just want a plain brush to be quite a nice size. And I need to have the colour white, because obviously the background is white. So I'm going to click on that, make sure that I've got white, which I have. Click OK. And then I'm ready to get rid of that. So I'm just going to brush over it, make sure that's nice and neat, and that it's gone. Make sure I've zoomed right over to the edge here. Get rid of all of that information that I don't want on there. And then I'm just going to zoom out by holding down the Alt button when I've got the magnifier. And you can see what that does there. It changes the plus to a minus. Or you can see up here, you can click on that, but it's much easier just to hold down the Alt button. Hold it down, and still holding it, just click out. And that has now clicked out. The other way you could have done that was with the plus or the minus while holding down the Apple key, which is a good shortcut to learn. The next thing that I would do when I'm working with scanned images like pencil drawings or um, pen drawings is to then go into the levels palette so image adjustment levels and what I'm going to do with this is just to add a bit more contrast because it's a bit light to my character at the moment and you can see the other thing I've just done there is I've moved my palette around by clicking on the top grey bar and that means I can move it out the way if it's in the way so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide this slider down so what we do in this palette here is we just slide up the different sliders slide them down, slide them up, and we can see we make a slight change. Although, I'm not really sure much change is happening, so let's just zoom in a little bit closer. Image, adjustments, levels. Make sure you've got preview on. And then slide the slider right down. No, nothing's happening. Cancel. Let's have a look at the layers. Oh, that's because we're on the wrong layer here. So if we, you won't have to worry about layers because yours will only be on one layer. It's just that I added layers onto mine in order to make the image a bit bigger. So again, going back in to the image adjustments levels and then sliding this down. And you can see now I'm getting a bit more contrast. And what you can do is slide this up as well. So between the two or three sliders, you can get the best appropriate um outcome and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it into Adobe Illustrator and live trace it so I want it to be fairly dark and you know that's something that we sometimes do in classes live trace things so I think that that's kind of okay so I'm going to click um, okay to set that and obviously I want to make sure that I've saved it um, and then I can use that for something else. 